During the sensory examination, you'll test many types of sensation, including light touch using a cotton swab, temperature using the large cold metal end of your tuning fork, pain using the sharp end of a broken cotton swab or pin, vibration using a 128 Hz tuning fork, proprioception by moving the ends of digits, graphesthesia by drawing numbers and shapes on the patient's palm, stereognosis by having the patient identify a common object placed in the hand, double simultaneous stimulation using light touch, and balance using the Romberg test. When testing each sensory component, have patients close their eyes so they can't use visual clues to identify the stimulus. Each of the components, except for balance, are tested bilaterally so that one side serves as a control for the other. To assess light touch, gently stroke the patient's skin with a cotton swab. First, demonstrate what you will do before asking the patient to shut her eyes. Say, this is how a light touch feels. I'll touch you while your eyes are closed, and every time you feel me touch you, say yes, okay? Have the patient close her eyes. Stroke the cotton swab in the distribution of the different cutaneous nerves of one arm. What about here? Yes. And here? Yes. Here? Yes. And here? Yes. Remind the patient to say yes with each touch she feels. Do you feel this like a light touch? Yes. And here? Yes. Okay. Repeat the examination in the same areas on the other arm. Yes. Okay. Here? Yes. And here? Yes. Here? Yes. And here? Yes. Next, stroke the same location on each arm, asking the patient to say whether both sides feel the same or different. Follow the same procedure on the lower extremities. Stroke the cotton swab in the distribution of the different cutaneous nerves of one leg. Remind the patient to say yes with each touch she feels. Here? Yes. Did you feel this? Yes. And here? Yes. Repeat the examination in the same areas on the other leg. Yes. Over here? Yes. And here? Yes. Do you feel this? Yes. And here? Yes. And here? Yes. If any area seems to have decreased or abnormal sensation, do a more detailed test of that area. To assess temperature sensation, touch the patient's skin with something noticeably hot or cold. Many clinicians use the large end of a metal tuning fork, which feels cold. First, demonstrate what you'll do before asking the patient to shut her eyes. Say, this is how cold feels. I'll touch you while your eyes are closed, and if the object feels cold, say, cold, okay? Have the patient close her eyes. Touch the cold object to one arm in the distribution of the different cutaneous nerves. Cold, cold. Remind the patient to say cold with each touch that feels cold. Cold. Repeat the examination in the same areas on the other arm. Cold, 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 cold. Next, touch the same location on each arm, asking the patient to say whether both sides feel the same or yes. different. And does this feel about the same as that? Yes. Okay. Now, touch a distal location and slide the cold object proximally. Ask the patient whether the intensity of the cold sensation changes. Test both arms. Follow the same procedure on the lower extremities. Touch the cold object to one leg in the distribution of the different cutaneous nerves. Cold. Cold. Remind the patient to say cold with each touch that feels cold. Cold. Okay. Repeat the examination in the same areas on the other leg. Cold. 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 Next, touch the same location on each leg, asking the patient to say whether both sides feel the same or different. Same. Okay. Here versus here. The same. Now touch a distal location and slide the cold object proximally. Ask the patient whether the intensity of the cold sensation changes. Test both legs. To assess pain sensation, touch the patient's skin with a sharp object, such as a pin or the broken end of a cotton swab. Discard the object after use to prevent transmission of infection. First, demonstrate what you'll do before asking the patient to shut her eyes. Say, this is how sharp feels. I'll touch you while your eyes are closed, and if the object feels sharp, say yes, okay? 
Okay. Touch the sharp object to one arm in the distribution of the different cutaneous yes. nerves. Remind yes. the patient to say yes with yes. each touch that feels sharp. Yes. 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 Okay. Repeat the examination in the same areas on the other yes. arm. Yes. And sharp? Yes. Sharp? Yes. 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 Next, touch the same location on each arm, asking the patient to say whether both sides feel the same or different. Repeat this in several locations. Now touch the arm circumferentially. Ask the patient whether the intensity of the sharp sensation changes. Test both arms. Finally, touch a distal location and move proximally. Ask the patient whether the intensity of the sharp sensation changes. Test both arms. Follow the same procedure on the lower extremities. Touch the sharp object to one leg in the distribution of the different cutaneous nerves. Yes. Sharp? Yes. Sharp? Yes. Remind the patient to say yes with each touch that feels sharp. Repeat the examination in the same areas on the other leg. Yes. Sharp? Yes. 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 Sharp? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sides. Does this Next, touch the same location on each leg, asking the patient to say whether both sides feel the same or different. Repeat this in several locations. Now touch the legs circumferentially. Ask the patient whether the intensity of the sharp yes. sensation changes. And on this leg, do you feel it all the way around? Yes. Same sharp? Yes. Right? Finally, touch a distal location and move proximally. Ask the patient whether the intensity of the sharp sensation changes. The same sharp all the way? The same. Okay. Test both legs. The same. Same. To assess vibration sensation, touch a vibrating 128 hertz tuning fork to selected distal bony prominences. Tap the tuning fork firmly against your thenar eminence to make it vibrate. Demonstrate the sensation of a vibrating fork, and then dampen the vibrations and demonstrate that sensation. Now have the patient close her eyes. Touch the interphalangeal joint of each thumb with both a vibrating and non-vibrating fork. No. Yes. With each touch, ask the patient whether she feels vibration or not. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Follow the same procedure on the lower extremities. Yes. Test over the medial malleoli. And now? No. And now? Yes. Okay. What about on this side? Yes. Okay. And now? No. And now? Yes. Okay. And over the interphalangeal joint of the big toes. Yes. Again, switch between a vibrating and a non-vibrating fork. And here? Yes. Okay. What about here? Yes. Okay. No. Yes. Okay. Finally, well, apply the vibrating fork to the joint of each big toe and ask the patient whether the intensity of the sensation yes. is the same. To assess proprioception, move the distal phalanges of the thumbs and big toes up and down and ask the patient which direction you moved them. Be sure to grasp the digits from the side so the patient cannot use pressure sensation to tell the direction. And before you move the joint, wiggle it slightly to mask down. the starting location. Up, up. Have the patient down. close her eyes and up. test one thumb and then the other. the other. side. Each time you move the joint, ask her whether it is up or down. Down, 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 up. Follow the same procedure on the big toes. Down, down, up, down, down. Okay, this side. Down, up, up, down, down. 
Assess graphesthesia by asking the patient to close her eyes and recognize by feel numbers, letters, and or shapes you draw on her palm with a blunt-tipped object. Each time, ask her what you drew. Here is number three. Three. Okay. Zero. Zero. Eight. Eight. A triangle. Triangle. And a square. Square. Repeat the exam on the other hand. Assess stereognosis by asking the patient to recognize by feel some common objects you place in her hand. Allow her to manipulate the object to feel it with her fingertips. Have the patient close her eyes and identify each object that you place in her hand. Here's a paper clip. It's a paper clip. A key. It's a key. And a coin. It's a coin. Assess the patient's response to bilateral light touch stimulation on her arms and legs. Close your eyes for me. Have Very the patient touch. close her right. eyes and ask her to state and whether now. you are touching her on the left, right, or both. Left. And now, both. First, touch each arm individually to ensure right. that the patient can feel both sides. Left. Then touch left. both sides simultaneously using equal pressure. Both. If she answers right or left rather than both, called double simultaneous extinction, her sensation is probably abnormal at the cortical level. Okay. Repeat the test on the legs. Where did I touch? Left, right, right, both. Okay. Assess balance using the Romberg test. Be in position to steady the patient if she loses her balance. Ask the patient to stand with feet together and arms extended. If the patient can maintain her balance, give several gentle pushes to either side to see if she still maintains her balance.